Very good. My name is Ron Falcone, and I'm the host of Meet Your Neighbor. I had this idea back in the fall of 2006 where I wanted to invite you know, local business people, local politicians, and to, to come down to the, to the studios here so all of you could meet, meet your neighbor. We, we have a special guest today. Um, he is Jim Renacci. He, is, he was the former mayor of the city of Wadsworth, and he's running for the United States Congress in Ohio's 16th, um, 16th, 16th district, district yes. here. Jim, welcome to the studios. Thank you very much, Ron. <laughs> How you doing? Doing good. Doing good. Jim, running in politics um, is really intense. Why, why, why do you want to be a congressman? Yeah. Well, you know, it's a good question, and a lot of my friends ask me the same thing. But the truth of it is we, uh, we in the 16th district have a representative who really is not representing us today. Okay. Um, we have a gentleman that uh, has voted 94.1% with Nancy Pelosi. Okay. So as I tell everybody in the district, um, True representation would not be 94.1% with Nancy Pelosi. So number one is I think we need to find somebody that will represent the district well, and, and I believe I can be that person. Okay. Second reason is uh, my experience. I've got, uh, I started to look into this and say, okay, what's, we're making some decisions in Congress that affect everybody on a day-to-day -day basis. It affects the, you know, the working middle class. It affects the person struggling every day. And we need to find people to go to Congress when they make those decisions that have, that have experienced that. Okay. Well, if you look at my experience, uh, you know, I came here from a small western Pennsylvania town. I came in a uh, Plymouth Colt and a couple hundred dollars in my bank oh. <coughs> account. Okay. Um, married my uh, high school sweetheart, and uh, we've been married now for 27 years. Okay. Uh, but I started a business in uh, 1983. Oh. I came here. 1985, okay. I started a business. And I actually built that business and sold it many years later. So... I've, uh, I understand what it takes, not only to raise a family, all my children are in college now, That's but right. I also understand what it takes to employ people. I've created over 1,500 jobs. I've employed over 2,500 people. You know, I've had to meet payroll. I've signed the front of, pay, more, the, front of the paychecks more <laughs> than the back of the paycheck. So uh, I think that experience is also a very positive thing to take to Congress. And the third reason is uh, truly, I believe in, you know, some of the, some things, I believe in less, less government. We need less government in our lives. Sure. Uh, we, need to, we need our taxes to be less. Uh, we do need personal responsibility. We need to be able to take that with us and, and move forward. And, and also a strong military. We've got to have a strong military. Sure. So those are my three reasons. I know they're, they're stretched out a little <laughs> bit, the three reasons why I believe um, I should be the next congressman in the 16th district. Okay. Jim, can you can you tell people who are who are watching right now how did you how did you get involved in in politics in the first place? Well, it was interesting. Um, I was, uh, of course, in the city of Wadsworth. I had some experience in that I was a fireman okay. for a number of years, oh, almost were, four and a half years. You were a fireman. Yes, I was okay. a fireman in Wadsworth, uh, and uh, and then I was asked at the time to get on a board of zoning appeals. So I did a little volunteer work at that time. Okay. I also then was asked to get on the planning commission. <laughs> Um, never really had an interest in politics, and then at one point in time, I was asked if I'd be willing to run for president of city council in Wadsworth. Oh, okay. Now in Wadsworth, we have a um, statutory city, so you run for president of council. Okay. So I did run. I won that election. I won again. I ran again. Won the second election, and then ultimately ran for mayor, and oh. was the mayor of Wadsworth for four years. Oh, okay. Jim, the 16th district. Where is that? What what areas of Ohio does that encompass? Sure. It's, it's interesting because uh, when you look at the 16th district, you wonder who cut it up and how it was cut up. But uh, <laughs> it basically is all of Wayne County, okay. all of Stark County, most of Medina County. Now, it doesn't include Brunswick. Okay, so it doesn't include Brunswick it or Brunswick It does not include Hills. Brunswick okay. or Brunswick Hills, uh, but south of that, that portion. And then okay. um, almost all of Ashland, but it, doesn't, it does not include the northernmost counties okay. of Ashland. So oh. it's... It's kind of drawn in a, in a strange, <laughs> strange way. Mm, geez. What do you see as some of the most important issues facing the, the 16th district right now? Well, it's interesting. What's facing the 16th district is facing all of Ohio and our country. Okay. Uh, jobs, number okay. one. I mean, okay. the 16th district, the unemployment rate has gone from, Stark County went from 6.5% to almost 12.5%. Wayne, oh. uh, Ashton County is almost 14% unemployment. These numbers cannot continue to grow. So unemployment is, an, is, a, is a big issue. The other th is spending. You know, I've been on the campaign trail now since August of last year, and I can tell you that when I talk to people, they all say, 
we can't continue to spend the money we're spending. Mm -hmm. uh, the current congressman voted for legislation last year where we were spending $1 billion an hour for his first 50 days in office. $1 billion $1 an billion hour. $1 billion an hour. Those kind of numbers we can't just, we cannot sustain. Okay, <laughs> okay Jim, say, say you were elected in, in this fall, the fall of uh, 2010. What are the top three things that you would do as a United States congressman? Absolutely, it's a great, it's a great question. No, number one, I would go down and represent the 16th district, which I think is important. As I said, right sure. now that's not occurring. Okay. So I go down there and representing, and when in representing, I would listen. I've already listened to what the people have said. They've okay. talked about spending. We got to get spending under control. I sure. would push for a for a freeze in our federal budget. I mean, we need to we need to slow down this spending. As a businessman who took over many troubled businesses, that's the first thing you do. You 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 freeze your expenses and you see what you you can cut because you have to cut some expenditure. So. That would be definitely number two. And then number three, we need to make an environment better for jobs. We have to be able to make the environment better so that a small businessman, and by the way, small business owners, they represent 77% of the people who employ people in the country. So we have to make it easier for a small business owner to be able to employ somebody. And we need to make the environment easier, the environment better. We need to be able to change some of the tax situations within a small business so that they can employ people because right now they're in a holding pattern they're extremely concerned I'm a small businessman <laughs> I'm at the same pa you know you, you, you sit back and you say let's see what is going to happen and that's sure. a problem because until the small businessman decides that things are going to that things are going in the right direction they're not going to employ anybody sure Jim wh where do you live live in Wadsworth live in Wadsworth yes okay. I've lived there since uh, 1983 Oh, since 19, 1983, you said? 1983. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <laughs> yeah, and, and I know you, you made, you've alluded to this already. Can you explain more of your business background? Yeah, I, um, I graduated uh, from Indiana University of Pennsylvania right outside of Pittsburgh, and I oh, took okay. a job with a CPA firm. Okay. And uh, so I am a CPA. Got my oh. CPA early on in life. Worked for a CPA firm for the first two and a half years of my, my life in oh. a business career. Okay. And it was all in healthcare. And then I moved uh, to Wadsworth. Okay. I took a position in Wadsworth as the financial um, director of a large nursing home group. Okay. And I was there for about a year and a half before I decided to go off on my own. So my whole history of business is really related to financial. Um, I am a CPA, as I said, and, I, and okay. I even had a CPA firm in the city of Wadsworth for a number of years. Okay, okay. I know you mentioned this before, your, your political background. You said you were on the... On the um, Board of Zoning Appeals before? Yeah. Okay. And then uh, you went on to the Planning Commission. Planning Commission, right. Okay. And then how long, how long you said you were, you were council president? How long were you council president? I ran uh, council president in Wadsworth as two-year term. So I okay. ran in 1999. I was council president from, uh, for 2000 and 2001. I ran again and was council president 2002 and 2003, and then I ran for mayor. Okay. I ran for mayor because I was concerned about our budget at the time. We were, okay. we were running some deficits, oh. and I thought, you know, there, there's, there, we got to start looking at our budget, and we got to start figuring out a way to control spending. Okay. So as the mayor, so when I ran for mayor, I ran it as, under the platform that I was going to balance a budget, and I was going to... Um, Re, one of the problems we had is Wadsworth was a bedroom community, and we needed to bring some businesses in. Okay. Um, and, and I ran on the platform that I was going to bring in, reallocate the economy so that, the, that we could stabilize the budget. And we were able to do that. And uh, in my four years, I uh, cut a couple million dollars worth of expenditures. I balanced the city budget. And I, I'm proud to say I left it with a small surplus. That's good. Yeah. <laughs> Jim, do you, have a, do you have a spouse? I do. Okay. I... Uh, I've been married now for uh, 27 years. It'll be 28 years this year. Okay. And w we have a picture of her here. What, what's her name? Uh, her name is Tina. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, met her. Uh, Tina will tell you that we first met in sixth grade. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> I don't remember that. I just remember <laughs> thinking about baseball and basketball and all those things. And then uh, um, we both came back. To, we both were at the same high school. Oh, um, okay. Actually took her to the prom. And then... Uh, uh, six or seven years later, we married. Oh, okay. And do you, do you and Tina have any kids? We do. We have three children. I'm very proud okay. to say that uh, all three of them uh, we've been able to raise, and uh, they're all in college right now. Okay. What are their names? Uh, uh, the oldest is uh, Drew, and okay. he is uh, attending Cleveland State right now, uh, 
getting his law degree, first year law degree. He just graduated. Okay. Uh, and uh, Ryan, is, Ryan and Rhiannon are twins. Oh, okay. Um, Ryan is uh, going to Notre Dame. He's going to be a doctor. Oh, and Rhiannon's actually going to Indiana University of Pennsylvania where I went. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. <laughs> and I know we have some other, some other photos of you here too as well. Um, this is just you and in, in, it's at your desk or? Yeah, that's me in my office. office. Okay. Uh, I have, uh, that's the office I've been at since uh, 1993. Okay. And uh, it's, it's, it's my home away from home. That's, my, <laughs> that's where I work, no doubt about it. Okay. <laughs> hey, Jim, what are some of the things that you like to do for fun? Oh, well, I love to golf. Okay. Um, I used to love to play basketball and do a lot of outdoor sports, but as okay. you get older, um, on the basketball court, I, uh, I broke an ankle and tore a ligament. I finally <laughs> said, I better stick to the, today, I better stick to the same thing. So I like to run, I like to exercise, and, uh, and I like to play golf. Really do love to, love to be able to get away every once in a while for a few hours and just forget about everything. That's great. Jim, for every guest I have my, on my show, I like to play a game of fill in the blank, okay? Okay. <laughs> Jim, the, the person that I admire most is blank. My grandfather. Okay, why your grandfather? Well, my grandfather came here, um, you know, looking for the American dream, the new life. He, he, he uh, got here. He worked extremely hard. Um, when I was a small boy, he used to sit with me all the time because my mother and dad were very hard workers, too. My dad worked on the railroad. My mother was a nurse, and my mother worked night turns. So a lot of times I would spend the mornings as a small child before school with my grandfather, and oh. I got to really know him. And, he, you know, he worked in the coal mines. He came home every day. It was, <laughs> he was just... Um, you know, somebody I was very proud of and, and uh, somebody I really admired. That's good. Jim, do you have any neighborly advice to people who are, who are watching on TV or people watching on the Internet right now? Sure. You know, I, uh, I tell everybody that uh, I'm truly not a politician. And, and I ran in the city of Wadsworth because I was asked to run. And, and it was a purpose to try and balance the budget and, and do, do good, give back to the community sure. that I uh, now lived in for 20-some years. And my children were all born in the community, too. But what I've learned is that, especially now, we, we elect politicians because either they, they speak well or because they are attractive or all the wrong reasons. And, sure. and, and my advice to everybody out there is when they're looking, especially in 2010, start looking in the background of the politicians you're electing. I know that might take some time, <laughs> but it's worth it. Try and see what they've done. I, I tell everybody I will never cast a vote ever again and I and I can say that I'm I've also um, can take the blame for doing that you know okay I heard this is a good guy or but I will never cast another vote unless I find out about the background of the person and what they've accomplished and what are some of their life experiences and the other thing sure. I think is extremely important I'm running for this job because I really don't need it and the concern is when you run for a job because you need it you're going to do whatever you have to do to keep it. Uh -huh. It's another problem I think we have with, with uh, politicians this day. So oh. just a little bit of advice that I've actually learned in the last six or eight months on the campaign trail. Oh, good. Jim, for, for Mayor Jim Renacci, uh, candidate for uh, United States Congress in the 16th District, thanks for coming down to the studios today. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Ron. Appreciate it very much. My name is Ron Falcone. I am the host of Meet Your Neighbor. I wanted to thank Jim Renacci for, for coming down to the studios today. Um, just. I guess there's nothing really, really more profound to be said, so I just wanted you to, to go out there and meet your neighbor. I'm Ron Falcone, and I'm signing off. Arrivederci.